glaciers are masses of ice that form at high elevation due to snowfall staying over the entire summer and then transforming into fern and ice and flowing downhill. So glaciers are streams of frozen water that can exist and persist at very high elevation in the mountains around the world. Glaciers take up water in cold and wet periods and they provide water in hot and dry periods. And with this role, they have the possibility to fill in lacks in the water availability. This makes them very important, especially in dry regions where water is intensely used for agriculture or drinking water. Glaciers are found in all major mountain ranges around the globe. The biggest glaciers are found in Alaska and Patagonia, but also around the big ice sheets of Greenland and Antarctica. We don't count these huge ice sheets, Greenland and Antarctica, as glaciers. However, the ice caps that are around these ice sheets, they are termed glaciers. The implications of this are multifaceted, which includes the, the threatening of the long-term water resources. So long-term water security is really at stake here for, for not just a few millions. It's literally hundreds of millions directly. In the Hindukush Himalaya region, it, it was estimated it could be up to two, almost two billion. And globally, in the interconnected com uh, economy, it's, it's everyone around the world who's indirectly impacted from these dramatic changes. If we look at the, the observed changes in the last decades, in the last century, we see that air temperature everywhere around the Earth has strongly increased, while snow precipitation is more or less stable or even on a decline. And these two factors combined, they result in an increased melting of the ice and therefore a retreat of the glacial tongues into higher elevation. The biggest impact of glacial melt is the rise in global sea levels. So all the water that has been stored in the glaciers around the globe is released and is ending up in the oceans. This increase in global sea level by glacial melting isn't huge. It's a few millimeters per year, but still, um, when combined with uh, tides and with flooding, this can be very important to many people around the Earth living in the coastal regions. So this is a major impact that will increase in importance in the future and will also be very long lasting. It's not something that we will be able to stop within the next decades. So we have to be concerned about very long time periods. As glaciers retreat, we are also seeing lots of new hazards in high mountain regions. For example, uh, outburst floods from, from glacial lakes, instabilities causing ice or rock avalanches. And this can be a hazard for people going to the mountains, mountaineer or hikers, but even more so for valley communities that are living at the foot of the mountains. We can mitigate the melting of glaciers by curbing CO2 emissions. This is very clear. Glaciers are responding to rising air temperatures and we can stabilize air temperatures globally with bringing CO2 emissions to zero. So many nations around the globe are attempting this, are setting goals to reduce the CO2 emissions. However, it's not fast enough at the moment.